uh, to help the millions of people affected by the COVID crisis. Um, to learn more about that and to donate to 12 worthwhile charities, you can check out the Consensus website. So Aaron, uh, how many consensuses have you been to? Oh, so um, this will be my fourth, I believe. My first virtual one, but the fourth, four in total. How about you? Uh, this is my third. Um, I think this is okay, but I really miss uh, being in person. Um, great. Well, um, moving now, we're uh, joined by uh, Chris Brummer, who is a professor at Georgetown Law School here in Washington, D.C. Uh, he's also a two-time nominee to the Commodity Futures Trading Commission and the empresario behind D.C. Fintech Week. Welcome, Chris. Hey, thanks so much for having me on the show. Yeah, thanks for being here, Chris. So, Chris, tell us, in just a couple of years, you've built DC Fintech Week into really like one of the premier global events looking at the future of finance policy and regulation. Uh, and that's all in addition to your day job as a, a professor at Georgetown. Um, tell us a bit about DC Fintech Week and what you have cooking this year. Well, you know, um, our focus has always been how do you create a safe space for conversations um, really that are connecting technologists to entrepreneurs and then obviously to the policymaking community. And it was really intended to be a very small kind of get together, but every year it's just expanded and we've had CEOs from PayPal, uh, like like Dan Schulman, to all of the heads of the regulatory agencies. I, I saw Brian Brooks and we've had the comptroller of the currency, the head of the CFTC, the head of the SEC. We've been uh, co-sponsored by the International Monetary Fund. And it's because the kinds of problems facing the crypto community are interdisciplinary problems where you have to get the policymakers in the same room with the technologists um, and, and, and in the same room with the entrepreneurs. And we've been trying to establish a, 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 a nodal point for that. Awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, I remember the event you had last year in, in uh, I think it was just in one afternoon, you had you know a keynote speech with like Jay Clayton, Brad Carlinghouse, and Joe Lubin, like back to back. It was pretty impressive. Uh, what do you have lined up? I realize it's still early in the game. This is coming up in October, but what do you have kind of uh, teed up for uh, for, the, for the, the 2020 edition? Well, you know, we too are trying to sort of figure out, are we going to do something in person or are we going to do something uh, virtually? But already we have uh, commitments literally from international regulators all over the world um, to participate one way or the other. And, and what we want to do is make sure that the event, um, much like uh, a, a, a consensus, really speaks to the moment. And what we're seeing in Washington, D.C. is a, a shift in a conversation away from, well, what can government do for crypto or what can government do for fintech? tech to, well, what can fintech and crypto do for the government and for government policy objectives like financial inclusion, like responses to the COVID crisis? And what we want to make sure is that by the time October rolls around, whatever the situation is, that we are um, at the cutting edge of that conversation in a way that we can move it forward. But already we have people from all over the world, uh, uh, literally diplomats who have come to my house, uh, di socially distanced, uh, you know, to, to, to you know, have conversations on, on, on what should be the next steps and we're really looking forward to it. That's great. Well, thank you for coming on and, and telling us a bit about it. I know I've been, I've been, I've been to two editions of your event and I've enjoyed it greatly. So I uh, really appreciate the work you're doing there. And it's, and it's really kind of, you know, I, I think the work you're doing there is so important and you're really kind of the tip of the spear and um, just educating and also, and also like there's kind of a mind shift that's, uh, that's happening right now. And you're really at the front, uh, at the front of that. So well, well, I appreciate thank you coming you. on and for all the work that you're doing. Thank you. And thank you to, to, to you too. I think like programs like this, um, settings like this, whether or not in Washington or New York or in a uh, virtual world are really important uh, for moving this conversation forward. Awesome. Cool. Um, well, thanks for popping in, Chris, uh, and, and best of luck with your event. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. So thank you so much. Thank you. Um, and then, um, so Kristen, um, you were involved in the launch earlier this year of something called the HODL PAC. Um, and so I'm familiar with what HODLing is. I think I know what a PAC is, uh, but I'm not sure what a HODL PAC is. Maybe you can walk us through what that is. 